wink. Did he seriously just said wink? <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walked back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery i ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See? You're already fitting in great. Where, where those cookies... Where those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah! If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> uh, I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. Huh. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness! Amanda and I step outside. Huh. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house he mm. this is. I hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. <laughs> and remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. Like my weight? We walk up to the kids and wave. Oh my god! That is horrifying, to quite be honest. I mean, not the house, but the fucking kids. Especially these two right here. Oh my god, I'm getting a shining moment right now. Hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. Seriously, for a dad like that... How do they- how does he have blank staring dead-eyed kids like these? We just wanted to... Uh, return this nice plate. And thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph kids. They all look exactly like him. Hey. They were really good. This is getting creepily awkward! I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Oh my god. I chuckled nervously. Hmm. Well, okay. We're just gonna set this place down on the ground real gently and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kid's eyes bore it into us as we scurry away. I can feel the gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Huh. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Mm. You've been awake for what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. Good tire pressure is essential to optimal mileage. Yes, that is. Yes, that is. Any more dad tips? Come on, before it loads. Damn it. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Sakasaro, bro! Dude! Oh! Wow, everyone does have a kid. That's surprising. I turn around now and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro! Oh. Holy. Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Huh? It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend, Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude! You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <laughs> hello and hello, cute baby. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgly. gurgles happily. <laughs> I have to admit, that's kind of cute. Look at those cheeks. She's about to boop him. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding? Oh, no kidding. I might not just move to this side of town. How smash... Smashly? Okay. How's Smashley doing? I don't know. I mean, Ashley. Ashley's her name. I don't know. She's actually still going by Smashley. And, uh, we got, dis we got divorced last year. Shit, me! Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's old news. 
We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Huh? Ain't like something, bro. All right? Cake Stan Craig is a father. Oh, sorry. Here, let me redo this. Cake Stan Craig is a father of three! Hmm? Cake Stan Craig? Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. Hmm? It's a thing where you do a handstand on the keg and then drink from the keg. Ah. Right. He was very good at it. Oh. Ha, ah, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. Never. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Mm -hmm. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, people. I don't know. Nice. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We could do a bro brunch like a good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Mm. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wear. Little wave. Puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm really. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel right feel later. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Ugh. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Huh. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Oh. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yes. A dog? <laughs> Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman with simple wants and needs. So are a lot of people. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Eh? Suddenly, a pile envelope slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yes! This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. <gasps> but I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Yeah. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. Damn. We have a letter opener, but... Okay. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda I starts back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admission committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we... <sighs> her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. <sighs> Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Uh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. portfolio. Your admission officer told me that... Told me they just want to see the portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah. 
I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Eh? Oh, before I forget, my R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have a new place to yourself. <laughs> yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans! Um, uh, um, I'm going clubbing! I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. I'm gonna do the edgy father. Uh, uh. Ah, uh, you know the one, people. It's the one Soldier was given for anniversary. Yeah, the edgy grandpa. <laughs> the edgy grandpa. The edgy daddy. Hmm. Damn me. All right, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Oh, come on. I don't get to go clubbing. I want to go clubbing. I literally want to go clubbing. Go out and watch the game. Nice. <gasps> Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. Aww. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Oh. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the, with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Many money laundering at the least. <laughs> I'm a street rat, Pops. Oh my god, she's Aladdin! You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Oh. Yes, Dad. Just make it sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. Ah. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Dad! No! Making fun of sports is played out. Hmm. Alright then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stop huh. playing. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right. Mr. Viga. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Eat plenty of carbs the night before a big game. Like spaghetti! <laughs> wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. God damn it, I'm such a dad! So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go! This way! Cool! Okay, we're marching! We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance? Could it be? Okay, it's a club! What kind of club is that? Does it say Jim and Kim's? Oh, it even says it right there! Okay, I am blind apparently right now. A big, burned-out neon sign hangs above the tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, well, it'll do. Ah, uh, there's a boar up there. Roadhog, my darling. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of people, the crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What will it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice-cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing in on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in the bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Uh, no bitch! I see you have a cross. Fuck that. Go away. Bye-bye. Hey, sailor. Uh, I'm not a sailor. In case you don't notice, I have eggs for nipples. 
There's, I highly doubt a sailor has wonderful nipple legs. Oh, hello. Mm. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Sakasaro, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win. The game of ease. Hey. Oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Oh, my God. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, you think? I mean, look at those eyes. Look at them. Those are drunk eyes. The way she's tipping her wine glass. Oh, definitely. She's, t she's tipsy. And look. Look. Look at the way she's putting her hips, dude. Body language. Of course she's putting out. Look, she put her hips out to the side. She's going, look at these curves. Look at these curves. She's trying to pose out for you, man. I am not falling for it. Fuck off. You shall not lay. Uh. Ah. Buy a gal a drink? Uh, no. Uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. Fucking knew it! I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gone close in terminal points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particular skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. Oh my god, it's Mr. Stalker. It's Dan from Game Grumps once he gets older. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am, now that we're w winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to dis disagree with that, my good sir. I disagree with that statement. Based upon our win slash loss record, I say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quite cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man, drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks! I'm Sakasara. Oh. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert chuckles. Huh. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Oh. No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. I... Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neil in this world. Oh, not enough Neils in this world. Oh. Okay. Oh? You whiskey fellow or beer fellow? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Mm -hmm. You like shots? Let me put it this way for you, buddy. I like shot, 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 shots. Everybody do the shots. Oh my god, I'm definitely doing the dad pond. Ooh, shots fired. I don't like them. Oh shit, I made him angry. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Robert nods to Neil, who serves out two shots of whiskey. Hands one to me. Oh. Here's to your hell. We take the shots. The whiskey burns. The whiskey's burn going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait. I think this is what making friend is. Okay, Sakasaro. This guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Uh. I like your jacket! I like your jacket! <laughs> Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from first bone to first bone. 